Uh, cause you smacked the nerve. My whole arm is like just tangling. Yeah, probably hit your, your ulnar nerve. I'm okay, I'm okay, it's just, yeah. That's what happens when you fall in holes. Jesus, man. It's a long way down. <laughs> Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. Today we're back on the hunt looking for that elusive gold that I like to call candy. The only difference is I'm not gonna be underwater this time and I'm not looking on along the shallows like I normally do. We're actually gonna be digging down deeper to see if we can't find more of those deeper gold deposits. Our goal is to have an idea where those gold deposits might be. So the only way to really do that is to do multiple test holes and basically chase where the best gold is coming from. So I'll see you when we get down there. So Brian's already been here for the last couple days already. So it saves us most of the work. Ain't that right? You got it. Except we still gotta step the high banker today, so we'll do we'll do that right now. Heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> so basically, what this does is this allows us to have water up to the high banker where we will be working. So I hook this up into here. He's priming it right now to get it ready, and then we're just gonna hurry up and see how much candy we can find. That's water, right? Moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> this is our other end of the high banker. All right, the hose actually. This isn't a high banker, this is a hose. This is the closest I'll ever be to becoming a firefighter. I have this special ability where if I whistle, this baby should turn right on. There's dirt in my hands. Takes a little while, but <laughs> should work. Oh. All right. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is what you call a high banker. And essentially what it does is you just put a handful of material in this thing and it will separate the heavy stuff being gold or anything else with the gravels and stuff. So once that's all washed, everything we don't need will typically fall off this unless it's like a nice big nugget. And then everything else that we are looking for today will be Hopefully, down in this tray. This is not good. This is bad. There's a hole in the hose. All right. So, this is gonna drop our pressure in the sluice box like tremendously. So it's, we either have to tape this up with some electrical tape that I have, or we're gonna have to just work with what we got, but that's the kind of thing you gotta look out for. Great. So the high banker is all set up now, but we have a little problem. We have a hole in our line further that way. So the pressure on the high banker is gonna be not as strong as we would like it, but it's still gonna move gravel, so we're still gonna continue. Yeah guys, so I finally got Polly out of the river. Thought him to actually do some work. <laughs> I like to see you get in that river. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this summer, buddy. Yeah, so this is what I do on my side. Me and Paul share this claim, you guys. Um, I'm up here on the benches usually. 
floor crevicing. There better be some candy in here. Okay, so we just shut down the, the high banker. As you, can, as you can see, we're overflowing pretty heavily. So we gotta let this settle. We're gonna have a quick break, have some juice boxes and some candy. And then we're gonna check right here and see if we have any other candy in there. <laughs> the camera I'm holding has an umbrella uh, zap strapped to it. So it's really hard to get close. So I'm just gonna do my best Zooming in. How'd she look, Brian? See anything? Not seeing anything at the moment. I think that's a no. Remember the last time you did this? No. <laughs> Just missed everything. Good snuff. Good snuff. I don't see any gold there, Brian. No. Uh, what this tells us is we either have to move deeper or move in a different direction to find where those gold deposit is. But this is just part of the game. Like sometimes you don't get it and sometimes you do. But we still gotta pan this out to see actually if there is any things in here. To the river. Off to the river. Off to the races to pan this thing. Yep. Yep. So I just follow this down and then we'll do a pan. We'll do a pan, man. What's in the pan, man? We're just cleaning up the knots nice and good here. This is how I do my laundry. Not the river. Do the honors, Brian. I'm giving Brian the honors to do the first one. Even though this is his high banker and his whole operation, I'm giving him the honors to do the pen. I was about to say. <laughs> I've done all the hard work. <laughs> Since this pan of material is so concentrated, it's just, it's basically just covered in black sand. So he has to go really slow to avoid losing any candy. I had to move Brian from there over to here because I can't really get close to the pan with this umbrella attached to the camera. So hopefully here we can have a better look. Well, we have gold. Not a lot, but there is gold there. I'll get closer for you guys in a moment. I just gotta be careful I don't stab Brian in the eye with this umbrella. So there we have it. We have a little bit of candy for our first test. Now, I already know there probably is a bit more gold down in here in the black sand, but that's okay. So, now that we know that there's gold up here on this gravel bench, it gives us about two options. We can either A, work down deeper as long as it's within our 1.2 meter legal limit, or we can actually dig towards one of these directions in the wall to see if we can't find the area that has the most amount of gold so that Brian here can permit the site because this is why we are here testing it. Uh, now, before we start our second round... Take two. Now, before we start our second round, we're just gonna have a quick break and refuel our fuel boxes. Good enough. <laughs>
second time. Ah. You all right? Of course. <laughs> I think we're on bedrock. <laughs> I can actually see some. It looks, that's what it looks like. Looks like bedrock? Yeah. That's good news. So you can't really tell, but this hole isn't very deep and there's not a lot of room to move around. So in about 10 minutes, I was able to scoop up about two shovelfuls of dirt. But luckily, I think I'm on bedrock, even though that's as far as I can really go because of our legal limit. So our cameraman ran away and grabbed a nice scoop for us. So hopefully we will have some dirt to pile up into the high banker for round two before it gets dark. Literally, this is the best I can do. <laughs> but I mean, I am noticing a little bit of shale, which could mean it's just a big piece of shale or it could be bedrock. So hard to tell, but we won't know until we actually run the material. I'm kind of getting stressed out because I really really want to get round two done before it gets dark and with that amount of material there's not a lot you can really do so what I think we're gonna do is run that material do as much as we can until it gets dark and even run through the dirt that we were going to help reclimate the area. So we're going to have to come up with another plan to reclimate it and bury this hole. Stressful, but I mean, look where we are. So we just finished round two. Um, not as much material as the first round, but I think, this, like I hope that this um, ground was better because I felt like I was on bedrock. It looked a lot more thick, a lot more muddy, and a lot more gravelly. So. There's only one way to really find out and that's to clean out the sluice box and, or sorry, high banker and see how we did. See anything? Going off the right on the top there. Can we get a light? Here. Um, I don't have my umbrella on, so now I can get really close. Is there any visible gold? I can see a lot of sand, but I don't see any gold yet. All right, let's just get to the panning part and see what there was. shake it and you try to get it to the bottom corner of this ripple and what you want to do is you want the water to take just that top layer off and then once you start seeing more heavy or bigger rocks starting to show you shake it again and bring it back to the bottom and you just repeat that process until you see nothing but black sand and hopefully gold nuggets <laughs> nice little picker. 
or a poker, whatever you want to call those. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a lot better than I thought we would actually do if I were to be completely honest. So, either we're going to go even deeper, but that would mean that we would have to actually permit it. We'd have to go permit to anything more than a meter, 1.2 meters, correct? Yeah, so anything, if you want to go any deeper than 1.2 meters, we actually have to put in that permit, but that doesn't mean we can't go to another angle and see if there is more concentrated area, right? So, that's good. All right, so we're all calling it a day. We're gonna go back to base camp where the trailer is parked and wash up, clean the lens and all, the, all of our equipment, and then uh, show you the gold. So let's go do that. Back at the resort, the trailer out in the bushes, we have equipment charging and our clothes are drying. So let's see what half a yard looks like. So not a ton of gold, but you can't win every time. At least we know the area has potential for future digs. So I believe Brian is going back to that spot tomorrow to do a little bit more work and I would help him dig but honestly I don't feel like digging again tomorrow. I just want to get in the water with my wetsuit and see what we can find that way. If you enjoyed this video please let me know by leaving a comment down below or hitting that subscribe button if you want to follow our next adventure. Also for those of you interested to see behind the scenes stuff like this shelf. <laughs> Please feel free to check out my social media as I post a lot more on there. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, I will see you later. That's water, right? Moonshine. Moonshine.